Greetings programs, Atari here, you there, and this is the Retro Arcade kit from Haynes. Yes, of course, the Haynes, uh, we all know from the Haynes guides, the technical guides, uh, mostly for like automotive stuff, but they do actually, they've started making a set of uh, build-it-yourself electronics kits, a la like the old um, Heath kits and such. So this is the Retro Arcade build a little uh, uh, portable handheld sort of Pong clone uh, here. So that's what we're going to attempt to do today. So you see here we got the box and it's kind of nice and it has that sort of uh, Hainsy, Hanes Guide kind of uh, feel to it. And it also has that kind of like late 70s, early 80s kind of vibe with the the wood grain and the rainbow colors. It's very, uh, it's very novel, it's very niche, uh, very period appropriate. Um, interesting thing on here, you'll see it's a insert coin. It says a 10p, uh, not 25 cents. You know this is a European uh, model here, but yeah, whatever. Uh, in fact, uh, here we go, Ha Germany, yeah. And uh, Haynes Company, Haynes.co.uk. So this is definitely a European uh, model, but uh, that's all right. You can get them here in the States just as easily, and it works just as well. Um, build your own electronic ping pong game. Relive the pixelated playing pleasure of the 1970s with this unique kit. Build your own version of the iconic tennis arcade game, because Pong is... Uh, copyright and trademark and all that stuff. So you can't actually say Pong, but whatever, we're gonna say Pong. Pong, 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 Pong. Uh, perfect gift for fans of gaming, nostalgia, and makers alike. All right, so that is that. So let's just uh, open up the whole kit here. So that's just a sleeve that slides off. We'll just put that away right there. So this is, this is the whole uh, caboodle here, and apparently this is actually also the outside case uh, for everything. So there's a magnetic clasp there. Opens up, and we see we've got our little kit. Uh, so this is obvious. So that's a screen. Um, we have the main board here. Uh, already has our chips soldered on. So this is only going to be just a, a minor, minor soldering job. Uh, I guess this is designed for, you know, novice, uh, novice to kind of intermediate. Soldering chips is a little more of an advanced skill, but, you know, I mean, there's a time and a place to learn that. Um, this is apparently not it, though. <laughs> uh, I am glad that they went ahead and soldered the matrix uh, for me, so I don't have to do all 120 LEDs, surface mount LEDs, by myself. That would be annoying. Uh, so I'm kind of glad they went ahead and did that. So it looks like we just have a few basic parts here, uh, a couple of potentiometers um, and the battery kit. And that's all I, I see, really. That's, um, there goes a potentiometer there. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's, that looks like the whole thing. Um, yeah, a couple of little... Uh, That looks to be about it. Actually, it looks like it comes with a little length of solder, too. A couple of little lengths of solder and some wire. So that's pretty much all we're going to be doing here. Uh, not a very complex build at all. Uh, so we'll just get this out. And we'll take a look at our instructions here. Build your own game console with a two-player table tennis game. Okay. Let's see, take you back over 30 years, immerse yourself in the past, blah, 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 blah. Um, it's all running off of 18 Mega 8. Oh, there it is. Yep, 18 Mega 8A, right there. Look at that. Uh, two knobs allow you to play against the partner. Uh, you can also play against the computer, the microcontroller. Um, you have to insert a coin, though. Interesting. Score shown on the display. I uh, wonder how they do that, because I don't see any seven segments. It's just the uh, just the LEDs. Okay. 
So microcontroller, circuit board, LED display, two 10K linear pots, two knobs, battery compartment, uh, stranded hookup wire, uh, two pre-cut bare wires packaged under E. So that's actually, those are, okay, that's actually wire, not solder. Um, plastic mounting housing, G. Oh, that's this guy, okay. Uh, diffuser, that's this guy. Um, four double-sided adhesive dots, not shown. Hmm. Okay, so fairly simple. Shouldn't take more than like half an hour to put together. So, I guess we will just go ahead and get started on this guy. Let's see, click the circuit board into the tray and mount both pots into the housing with the washers and nuts. Next, prepare four pieces of wire. Cut two simple wires, one of three centimeter and one of 12 centimeter. So I, I don't have any double A's on me. Well, I don't have any alkaline double A's on me. So instead, I'm just gonna use our good old trusty uh, lab bench power supply. And let's see what we get. Well, hold on to your butts. Ha ha, excellent. So we got, all right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, look at that, look at that, it's working. I guess that's how we keep score, huh? Move it down to there. All right, cool. One to one, okay. Boop. All right, so that's how you keep score. So that's it, and it works. Excellent, cool. Okay, so it looks like just from here on out, we just gotta tuck everything in. We'll just put that in right there. And, oh, there it goes. Boop, just like that, aha. Uh -huh. And we just mount the diffuser 
onto the display. Oh, let's do the knobs first. And there's a little set screw. All right. Okay. I love the chunky design. It's very, yeah, very disco. I like it. All right, now we just mount the diffuser with these little dots. Right, we're gonna take that. Aha, uh -huh, look at that. The wonders never cease. That's it. So here is our completed Hanes Retro Arcade box. It's a cute little, uh, cute little box, a uh, cute little uh, soldering project for kind of a uh, beginner to intermediate uh, soldering job there. Everything's already programmed. You don't have to worry about any of that kind of stuff. Uh, you put the coin in, it turns the game on, and uh, there you go. There you have it. Two uh, 10k potentiometers, control the paddles up and down the sides, and you can have a little retro fun with, uh, with yourself or with your kids or nephews, nieces, whoever you got. Uh, it's a good way to introduce you to, to a little bit of a soldering project, and uh, and it's a you know just a fun little uh, fun little diversion for a Saturday afternoon kind of thing. Um, so that's that. So in the meantime, social media over here, subscribe down here. Here is a video that YouTube thinks you will probably enjoy, and down here is a newsletter. Sign up for that, get notified of all the cool things happening here around the shop. My name is Atari, and until next time, tally ho, y'all.